You don't hate game journalists enough. Well, that's a title that's going to get me to click on a video because I certainly support that idea because games journos are horrible people. They are a literal cancer. They want to destroy everything. They're not in this for video games. Growing up, I read EGM, Electronic Gaming Monthly, Game Pro, Game Informer, Nintendo Power. These were publications that actually made you excited for video games. And they actually cared about video games. And they talked about video games. And they talked about the good and the bad in video games. And it made you, as a fan, feel connected. And now we have these horrible freaks that are involved in the gaming industry that just want to hijack it. This is from the Asmund Gold Clips channel. Um, so you're, I'm obviously going to click on this video. So there's more to this with Black Myth Wukong we're going to talk about. But first, let's hear what Asmund Gold has to say in a quick video. Uh, Screen Rant Lord Black Myth Wukong score after a female journalist criticized the game for not including female characters and for the monkey's supposed lack of diversity. Uh, she then attacked the developers over false accusations. The monkey's lack of diversity. We are living in a meme. We are living in an absolute meme. Uh, Black Myth Wukong, combat is fluid and fun. Cinematography can be breathtaking at times. Great diversity in items and mechanics. Cons, games performance is unpolished, lacking in inclusivity and diversity. While my analysis review of Black- Lacking in inclusivity and diversity. And just wait, because we're gonna talk about the review in question here in just a minute, and you're not gonna believe what I'm gonna show you. My God, these people are so pathetic and so fragile. With Wukong remain focused on gameplay, it's important to mention the controversies surrounding the game studio and the reports of misogyny and sexism from developers. Playing Misogyny and sexism from developers? I was already going to buy the game. You don't have to sell me anymore. Stop trying to sell me. As a female gamer, allowed me to notice issues surrounding inclusion and representation. Nothing about being a female allows you to play a video game in a different mindset. Uh, that's not even true. It, that's retarded. Well yes, anytime someone tries to give their opinion based on their identity, you should just immediately ignore them for the rest of their life because they are they are someone that should never be taken seriously. Anytime someone says, as a woman or as a black man or as a black woman or as... Fuck off, okay? Absolutely fuck off. The moment you say that, you are disqualified from having any uh, legitimate opinion whatsoever to be taken seriously. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? I mean, playing like a moron does, and so you do get a unique perspective on this, but it's just not the one that she's talking about. Um, as far as chapters one and two, clearly fictitious, uh, the only exception you can call it a female is a boss, so there's no guy, there's no girls in the game. Thank God. Yes! Um, here's again, the thing. When I again! I was already interested. You don't have to sell me on it. I hope this game breaks so many records. I really do. I hope it breaks so many I records. I see stuff like this. It makes it very evident to me that these people are completely disconnected from their audience. I don't think that anybody should take a... I, I don't know if they're disconnected from their audience as much as they hate their audience. That's what I would say. They hate... The games journalists out there, the mainstream games journalists, hate their audience. They despise them. And it's not that they're disconnected from the audience as much as they just straight up hate their audience. They hate them. They despise them. They don't want to be connected to their the audience. website seriously that publishes articles like this. Like, for me, like, when I see something like this, I immediately write off everything on the entire website. Like, somebody approved this to happen, right? The website is allowing this to be there because this is not about providing insight and helping consumers make informed decisions. It's about pushing an agenda and trying to make other people follow along with your agenda. Exactly. Like, like I said, this is go back to the glory days of the EGMs and the game pros and the game informers of the world and the Nintendo Power. This was about educating you. This was about giving you information, um, sharing some enthusiasm, and also sharing some key details about the game that you, as a fan, would want to know so that you can make an informed decision. That's what it was back then. Now, it's not that. These people don't actually care about these games. And just wait till I show you something on this review. From Screen Rant, just wait till I show you. I, I'm so glad that, like, again, this game is going to come out, and it's going to be a massive success. Like, I, I don't want anybody to be confused about this, and this is a fucking fact. Even IGN gave it an 8. Think about that.
So when it comes out and it's a massive success, it's going to be another example of this type, you know, basically industry-based collusion of like not following a certain type of like viewpoint or like worldview. It's going to be another point on the graph of that failing. Games journalists and these game review websites are no longer the gatekeepers in selling your game or promoting your game. And the only thing that really matters is advertising directly to the customer and making a game that's fun to play and filling in the boxes that they've created for you to click. None of this matters. Alienate wokeness. Well, I think that the studios are realizing that by making the people like this happy, they end up alienating their actual customers. Listen, this right here, it, it, when you want to talk about diversity and, and inclusion um, and lacking diversity and inclusion, so many people are going to buy that game just based off that information right there. But let's go over to the review itself right here. This is over on Screen Rant. Now, the most amazing thing is look who it's by. The Screen Rant team. Why is there no buy so-and-so? Do you know why? Right here. Editor's note. The author's name has been removed for their safety. I'm going to repeat that one more time. I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Editor's note. The author's name has been removed for their safety. Yes, if you scroll all the way down, it's here on this review. I couldn't believe it. I was like, there's no way. There's no way that's real. There it is right there. There it is. And then look at this note right here. The studio behind Black Myth Wukong Game Science has previously been accused of fostering a toxic environment for its workers. The 2023 allegations include sexualized comments against women, misogyny, fat phobia, and more. More details can be found here. This is why Geeks and Gamers exists. This is why independent content creation exists. This is why so many people on YouTube have 10 times the credibility, 100 times the credibility of these mainstream websites. This is why, right here, the author's name has been removed for safety, for their safety. Proper pronouns, I guess, right? Good Lord, man, this is unbelievable. Vera Dark said, every game these journalists go after like Hogwarts Legacy, Stellar Blade, and Black Myth Wukong just wakes people up to their BS. These activists are also just pushing themselves further into irrelevant uh, an irrelevant quarter of the internet. Sorry, not sorry, but they're consistently out of touch and deserve all the criticism they receive. 1,000% couldn't agree more. And again, I love that one of the cons is lacking inclusivity and diversity. They have been after this game from the beginning. They have been after this game from the beginning. And do you know what's going to happen? It's going to be a huge success, just like Veridark just said right there. And I am going to support it um, simply on the premise alone that games journalists hate it. That's enough for me to go out and spend my mon money on it. If some pronouns in bio, unattractive, fat freak, that wants to go after this game and go after gamers, if they hate it, if he, she, it, we, they, fat fuck hates it, then I am going to support it with my money. That is how I am programmed at this point in time. And that's how I think a lot of people are programmed to simply just go, if you, a weirdo with pronouns in your bio, has an agenda and you are going to target this, I'm going to support it. Just on principle alone. That's where we are. So, you guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Don't forget, Solo Lost Money, Raylos are weird, fuck Screen Rant, and we will talk to you later.